Hello, and welcome to building an AI marketing platform with High Level and Firestore. My name is Min Nguyen, and I am the product management lead for Firestore. Joining with me today is also Karan, Director of Engineering at High Level. We have an exciting agenda for you today. We'll start with a brief introduction to Firestore, followed by new feature announcements. Then we'll get into the highlight of today's session, a customer testimonial with High Level. We'll also wrap it up with some additional resources to help you learn more about Firestore. Let's get started. What is Firestore? Firestore is Google Cloud's enterprise grade document database. It's fully JSON compatible, offers rich queryability, and is integrated within Google Cloud's governance tools. It's also completely serverless. You only pay for what you use. The database elastically scales without having to manage any capacity or think about any data partitioning. And it has an SLA backed with five nines of availability guarantees. Firestore also helps you maximize developer productivity. Through native SDKs, both on the server side and client side, and Firestore has built-in real-time syncing and offline caching on its web and mobile clients. Firestore can also be easily connected with other Google Cloud and Firebase services. Finally, by choosing Firestore, you will be part of a large community of database developers. In fact, Firestore has over 500,000 monthly active developers who have created over 5 million databases. Recently, we announced new features for Firestore in four key areas. The first is around improving developer productivity using Gemini. Examples of this include Firestore's integration with Gemini Code Assist, which now allows you to use natural language to write queries and even use Gemini to assist in building data models. Firestore is also integrated in Gemini to allow you to create new application architectures using one or more Google Cloud services. Secondly, Firestore is focused on enabling developers build the next generation of AI-enabled applications. And to achieve this, we've announced new capabilities around vector search, integrations between Firestore and popular Gen AI libraries like Firebase GenKit, LangChain, and Llama Index. And finally, turnkey extensions to enable you to compute embeddings on your data in Firestore as it is written. Thirdly, within Firestore, we're very focused on empowering developers to express richer queries and write richer applications. And to achieve this, Firestore has announced new capabilities like the ability to query across multiple fields using different inequalities. And furthermore, to be able to better understand the performance and cost of queries using explain and analyze. Finally, we want to ensure that Firestore meets your enterprise's governance needs. And so we've announced new capabilities around customer managed encryption keys and Firestore is now fully available in all Google Cloud locations. Let's transition to the highlight of today's session. I'll now hand it over to Karan, Director of Engineering at High Level. Hi, Min. Thanks for having me here. 
I love the new releases from Firestore, especially the Gen AI release and the ability to explain queries. I run CRM, AI, and platform teams at high level in the capacity of Director of Engineering. And to introduce High Level, I have a quick demo video. Welcome to High Level. We're an all-in-one platform that gives you everything you need to capture, nurture, and close leads like never before. In High Level, you'll find features like a full CRM, funnel, website, course, marketing automations and email builders, a consolidated email, SMS, WhatsApp, and social chat stream reputation management, social media posting, and so much more. And the best part is high level is fully white labeled, which means you can brand the platform and mobile app with your logo and company colors, then resell it to your customers for a monthly subscription that goes straight into your agency's bank account. The powerful combination of software plus your service and expertise will drive your customers' retention and your profits through the stratosphere. Sign up for a 14-day free trial today. I hope that gives you a good understanding of what we do at high level. We are an AI-powered all-in-one sales and marketing platform for agencies and marketers. We provide everything that a local business needs to scale. And we think of it in three steps. The first is capture, where the businesses need more leads. Second is nurture, where they need to have more conversations with their customers. And third is close, where they need more bookings and sales. I'm happy to share that we reach over 70,000 agencies and more than 2 million businesses via them. The top three benefits that we have seen are, first is faster go to market. Due to the serverless nature of Firestore, the need of planning and provisioning infrastructure before every release was eliminated. This increased our release velocity. The next is scale. Due to the automatic horizontal scaling without any configuration, we were able to seamlessly scale to 30 billion plus documents. This was without any manual intervention. And the third is reliability. Due to the nature of our business, we sometimes see the right throughput go from a few hundred RPS to a few thousand RPS in the matter of a few minutes. And Firestore has been able to do a really good job with handling such spiky workloads. At peak load, we, serve, we use Firestore to serve over 250,000 requests per second, along with 5 million snapshot listeners. At high level, we are dedicated to helping agencies run their business on autopilot. To that effort, we have made significant investments in the field of AI. We've launched products like Content AI, which allows you to write content for blogs and social media posts, and Image AI that allows you to generate images for the generated content. The next we have launched is Reviews AI, which allows you to respond to reviews on autopilot. We've also launched Conversations AI, which provides support and books appointments on the behalf of an SMB. And Voice AI is coming soon, which will allow the SMBs to do the same on phone. This is a quick demo of how Conversation AI helps Oaks Realty to help answer the customer's query on autopilot and gives them options to book uh, appointment. I would also like to talk about the architecture that powers these AI features that we have launched. And the one that we use is called Retrieval Augmented Generation or a RAG. The way this works is the user uploads content in the form of FAQs, documents, and websites into their accounts. If it is a website, we crawl the content of the website, download it, divide it into chunks of similar length, generate embeddings for those chunks, and then save them into a vector database. When an inbound message comes from the user, we are able to generate the embedding of the inbound message, find the top three nearest neighbors of the inbound message from the vector database, use the content to create a prompt, which is passed to the LLM, and we return the response from the LLM to the user. 
This RAG architecture helps us in three ways. First, it allows us to overcome the prompt limitation that most of the LLMs have. Second, this reduces the latency and cost with every LLM call due to the limited information being shared with the LLM. Third, it improves accuracy of the LLM calls along with reduced hallucinations. Along with the RAG, I would also love to talk about two design patterns that we commonly use at high level. The first one is events. To give you a bit of background, high level is a suite of products that are very tightly knit with each other. To accomplish this, we need the teams to be able to listen to the changes in other products without being dependent on them. To make this possible, we have set up cloud functions using the change data capture functionality of Firestore, which listen to all the updates going into Firestore and then pushes them to a PubSub queue. From the PubSub queue, a subscriber listens to those messages and sends it to the microservices that are interested in receiving those messages. Any new microservice can place a hook on the event service and start listening to the messages going on forward. The next architecture that I would like to talk about is real-time sync. Many pages in high level need the ability of real-time updates. For example, conversations. When an inbound message comes in, we need to refresh the page to show the new inbound message without the user taking any action. To accomplish this, traditionally, we would have to set up a socket service and manage and scale the infrastructure as we grow. But using the real-time sync capabilities of Firestore, we are able to set up queries on the client side and set up listeners on those queries so that we can re-render the UI in real time without the user taking any action. The journey with Firestore has been long. And along that journey, there definitely have been some major learnings. I would love to share one such learning that we had in December. From our observability, and internal alerting, we found out that some of our services were not healthy. On looking deeper, we found out that some Firestore collection calls were failing with a deadline exceeded error. We raised a support ticket with Firestore team and they were able to help us with a root cause analysis. Firestore sets up single field indexes on all properties of a collection by default. And in our case, some of these properties were monotonically increasing. For example, the date timestamp. Due to the nature of the properties, the writes that were hap happening to that collection were putting a lot of pressure on a specific sector of the index and not distributing it evenly. Upon confirming that we were not using those indexes in our application, we were able to remove those indexes and saw the right tail latency drop from 60 seconds to 15 seconds. Here's a graphic of how the there was a very heavy load of requests onto a specific sector of the index, demarcated by the bright yellow color. And once we remove that index, the bright yellow spots, uh, the bright yellow spots go away and the rights are more evenly distributed. I hope this gives you an understanding of how Firestore works in the backend and help you design your architecture better. Over to Min now. Thank you. Thanks, Karan. I appreciate the partnership, and it has been impressive to see high levels growth on Firestore over the last couple of years. We're now going to wrap up today's session, but if you're interested in learning more about Firestore, we recommend checking out our quick start guides and our YouTube learning series. We also encourage you to participate within our community on Stack Overflow. Thanks again.